Hey everybody, Tal here, and welcome to the tour of my 2013 gaming PC. I hope you enjoy. So for power, we have a Corsair GS 800 watt power supply unit. Very nice. Uh, for hard drives, we have the Western Digital Blue 320 gig, uh, Seagate Barracuda 320 gig. It's 7200.12. Uh, for graphics, we have a GTX G4, well, GeForce GTX 550 Ti 2 gig, and another one. These provide very great frame rate in games. You can see this cooler. They're manufactured by EVGA with the super clock. Uh, under here, we have the Intel Core i7-3770K clocked at 4.4 gigahertz on stock voltage. Uh, for the cooler, we have a Cooler Master Hyper 212 uh, cooler with some Arctic Silver 5. This is a awesome cooler for the money. Can't be beat for the price. Although I do want to go water cooling soon, like a uh, for network connectivity, we have a Rosewell N900 wireless adapter. Uh, we have the Astrock Professional Z77 Fatality. Uh, you can see the very nice VRM coolers. This is the motherboard, by the way. Uh, for RAM, we have PNY uh, RAM. It's uh, 1866 megahertz. That's 8 gigs of it right there. We have a Sound Blaster X5 Titanium for the sound output. Very crisp. Front fan. This is on the case. We have one Antec fan. Top bay. We don't have a fan. I just haven't put one in yet. I'll do it. I will soon. Uh, the USB 3.0 plate that came with my motherboard and my DVD rewritable drive. Right here, you can just see what all it writes. Uh, on top we have an EVGA sticker that came with my graphics, a uh, headphone and microphone, power button and power LED, you get two USB 2.0s, one 3.0, and an Intel Core i7 sticker. Up top we have two Fractal Design fans, these are incredibly quiet. For back we have two USB 3.0s, a PS2 port, HDMI uh, display port. Uh, moving on down we have two more USB 2.0s. A clear CMOS button, uh, two more USB 3.0s, a gigabit Ethernet, uh, e SATA port, uh, a 1394 Firewire, and two USB 2.0s, which the one on the very uh, left can be used as a Fatality mouse port, which gives you nice DPI. Uh, there's two more USB 3, gigabit Ethernet. SPDIF and 5.1 channel audio, which is uh, real tech. Here's the antennas on the wireless card. There's the outputs on the first graphics card, two DVI and a mini HDMI. There's my fan controller, which came with the case. You can see it's just a knob. Very simple, very nice, very high quality too, believe it or not. Oh, uh, we have two more DVIs and a mini HDMI. Here's the back of the uh, GS800 itself. Uh, it has a switch on it to turn it on, power supply lead, and a switch that will let you change the color of the fan. This is a cool feature in the BIOS, it's pretty much to where you can just see what all you have inserted. As you can see, I'm hovering over my RAM. Uh, and yeah, it just says the version of my BIOS, which is Z77 Professional P150, Core i7-3770K. 4.4 gig and here's just the boot ups uh, process so thank you guys for watching and enjoy the boot up